When my parents turned to St. George's, they're looking for a churchmanship more suited to them. The family story goes that they first asked Father Greenacre to set up a Sunday school so that they could park my siblings and myself there during the service. We did so, and the switch was made. St. George's was there for them, and you were here for us. When I came back to France, I had lost my faith during my time in university. Oh, sorry, what have I written here? Oh. <laughs> Yes, whatever I do, don't mention the Christian Union. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, when I came back to Paris for a month, which has stretched on ever since, I started coming back here, and my faith was rekindled. You welcomed me back with friendship, with love, and with a smile. You were here for me. St. George's was here for me. When I met Sammy and our relationship flourished, you welcomed her into the warmth and fellowship of St. George's. We were happily married here nearly 35 years ago, and you were all here for us. St. George's was here for us. When we were blessed with our daughters, Emma and Laura. They were baptized, confirmed, and welcomed into the body of the church by you. In fact, thanks to this, the Holy Spirit is sometimes, but only at home, referred to as flappy flappy, but that's an answer. The important point is that you were here for them, and St. George's was here for them. More recently, last year, when I went through my health problems, you were all so much here for me. Your prayers and love sustained me in those difficult times. The day I was able to come back here, join you, sit among you, and worship alongside you, remains one of the most special days in my life. You were all here for me. You were all here for me. St. George's was here for me. Thank you to one and all from the bottom of my mended heart. And this is just some of what St. George's has given to me. I want to be here for St. George's. I want to be here for you. I want St. George's to be here for you. I want us to be here for you. I want you to be here for you. And I want you to be here for St. George's. I want to continue giving back to St. George's so that it might continue giving to you to me and all that are the following. That is why I am asking you to reflect prayerfully on what St. George's means to you and what you can do for St. George's. I ask you humbly and sincerely to listen to God's love and to pledge what you can to ensure that St. George's is here tomorrow for so many more years to come.